Hello, this is Mark Gabor again. In a previous video, we did the three-month moving average. We'd like to do now the exponential smoothing of the same data. So let's just copy the same chart that we're using. Copy, paste, let's call it exponential smoothing. Let's say alpha is equal to 0.4. And the reason we put alpha equal to a certain number is so that we could change the number if up here and change the entire forecast. Now, I don't really need this historical data, but I'll take the September 30th data, and let's use the September 29th data as the... seed forecast. So I use September 29th as a forecast, September 30th as actual, and there we go. We've got this. So let's erase this, and we're back like we were before. We have no forecast, and we have to now calculate it. So if you recall, exponential smoothing is equal to the previous forecast. So you, you're taking the forecast plus this alpha value times, and then you're taking the actual minus the forecast. And you get that number. So we go from 29.15 to 29.5. And let's change this, instead of just L2 where this 0.4 is here, let's change that. Let's put dollar sign after the L and before the L. That means that even if I copy and paste, I do copy, I go down one and I paste, it still keeps it at L2. So if I just wanted to change this to 0.8, it would change those forecasts, as you see. So let's change it back to 0.4, and let's copy this all the way down. Now, you see at 0.4, my MAD and my MAPE are not as good as it was in a three-month moving average. So let's try 0.6 and see what happens. Oh, it improves it. So maybe making it more adaptive. The higher I make alpha, the more it makes the error from the previous estimate count more. So let's change it to point, uh, point 0.8 and see what happens. Oh, it goes down even more. So maybe making it point 0.9. And point 0.9 didn't change it much, so we can leave it as point 0.8. And that would be my best estimate there. And it's the best estimate we've gotten so far. So there's a quick and dirty way to look at exponential smoothing using the same format that we've been using for this data. A lot of copying and pasting and a little bit of Excel lessons there. Looking forward to the next video. Thank you very much.